usually we'd be up about five o'clock. We just um, feed the cows until it gets light till about half past five, quarter to six, and then we go around the sheep, and sheep would be on the hill. Um, but this year it's exceptional. It's totally different. We're getting hammered by this um, extreme weather, and it's killing sheep, lambs, burying them alive, killing us as an industry, to be totally honest. Our family's been farming this land for 350 years. It means everything to me. I love my job, um, believe in what we do very strongly. You know, there is a big tradition in our family of farmers, and I believe um, that it was handed down from my father, from his father, and it will be handed down to my son. That's what's important, is to keep traditions going. That's what we do up here, and that's what we need to sustain. I wouldn't change with anybody, but I must say these last four days have most probably been the hardest days of my entire life. It's something that we weren't expecting, it's something that Hitters at the worst time use are heavily pregnant. They're weak at this time of year. Um, and this, this snow has come at very late in the season. We had a, a lamb that had been attacked by a, a crow. The crow had picked the lamb's tongue out. Once that lamb's tongue's gone, it'll never suckle. So it has to be humanely destroyed, which is awful for us because the lamb was totally healthy. It's just that this vermin crow had done the damage. Um, what we do then is we strip the skin from the dead lamb and we place it on a replacement lamb, which could be from a dead ewe or a set of twins. It's the scent that comes off the coat, comes from the mother, and it, it's unique to that sheep. You know, whatever you do, you know, that's, that's the best way to have the adoption to work. He's drinking now. He's got a chance to swear you. So that's the way that we work on the mountains. This is the way of a natural cycle. This has been going on for nigh on generations and it's handed down from father to son, from father to son. And it's just so important that these traditions and the way of farming on the Welsh hills and all hills in Great Britain don't die out. The reason why I put myself out there and opened the door of my farm to the media, to the press, is for them to see what we do. And hopefully when Mrs. Williamson walks into any supermarket in Birmingham, in London, in Scotland, in Edinburgh, wherever in this country, she looks and she sees British lamb, beef, pork, chicken, whatever it is, please, by British, support the farmers. People look at you and think, oh yeah, they're just walking the mountain, but my brain is ticking, I'm thinking, I'm watching where them sheep have been, where, where they could have gone, and trying to save every life I can. Without my dog, today, yesterday, and the day before, we'd have 70 dead sheep. You know, the, 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 he's just like my right hand man. The truth is I spend more time with my dogs than I do with my wife and my family, which, which is awful, but that's my job, that's, that's my work. The best thing is, you know, you're bringing life into this world. And what, what gives me a buzz is, okay, we're in a major disaster with this weather, but I see all my friends coming up today, helping us dig. Finding two sheep, it's only two sheep, but you've saved two lives. Unbelievable, eh? Uh, four, Is it gonna four be days. Right? Can you tell? Will they survive? Well oh, done, everybody. Oh, Job well done, that. boys. Job well done. You've got, you got to think, she's been cocooned in there for four days. You, th you think about it. Yeah. Which way are you going? It's go? been buried alive, hasn't it? It's yeah. a tomb, isn't it? That's, what's, that's what people don't understand. I'll go to bed tonight to sleep a happy man. Not for a lot of hours, but I'll sleep a happy man, contented, knowing that one thing is, 
that we've done our best. We've saved as many sheep as we possibly physically, mentally can. I'll be here until they take me from here in a box. I'll be here doing this job. I'll never change. That's who I am and that's what I do.